Today I'm going to show you how to create a smooth zoom transition in Adobe Premiere Pro. Hopefully you enjoy, let's get straight into the video. First you want to create a new item, go to adjustment layer and press OK. You want to drag this over your clip and you want to find the center point between the two clips. So you can hold shift and it'll snap into place. Now go to your effects tab and search up transform and drag it onto your adjustment layer right here. And here we're going to start with a scale of 100 and we're going to basically zoom in to create this effect. So first click on the stopwatch or toggle animation and set it at 100 and you can move this to the left side and then you want to zoom in. I'm going to change this to 175. There is no perfect number and you want to have a keyframe on each side of this line right here. This line is the middle point. And so if you press play right now, there's a zoom, but there's no blur. After the zoom, the second clip is way too zoomed in. So we're going to fix that really quick. So to add motion blur, you want to uncheck this right here and you want to change it to 360 and instantly you'll see motion blur. So if I slowly adjust it, you'll see it. And just to make it a little bit greater, I'm just going to move it a little bit closer to each other so that this animation happens faster and it's a little bit more blurry. So this is fine. Now what we have to fix is the fact that the second clip is zoomed in. So the fix to do this is you want to search up replicate in the effects tab and drag it onto the second clip. And where it says count, you want to change it to three. With these changes, what we end up with is the second clip uncropped, except there are replicas now. So what we want to do is go to the very beginning of this clip, set a keyframe at 100, and you want to scale in until it fits perfectly in the middle. So right here, we only see one of the replicas and you want to line it up when the blur ends. And now if you press play, we have something like this to make it a little bit smoother. We can scale in the first keyframe a little bit so that it has a little less distance to travel. And you can do this until you find the perfect timing. Hopefully you enjoy this video. If you want to spice up this transition, you can check the end screen for our speed wrapping tutorial, or you can check out my Premiere Pro playlist in the cards above.